हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस सेकेंड वीडियो ऑन मेजर थ्योरी ओके इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सेट द फील्ड दैट व्हाट वी आर डूइंग सो दिस वाज दिस फेलो देर वाज दिस फेलो जॉन हु वांटेड टू हैव अ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ क्वांटिफाइंग द थिंग्स क्वांटिफाइंग ही वांटेड टू नो हाउ टू मेजर व्हाट इज देयर इन अ सेट ओके व्हिच इज अ सबसेट ऑफ रियल नंबर व्हिच इज अ सेट ऑफ आर सबसेट ऑफ आर ओके and this john henry this fellow john Hen uh, henry libeg i'm sorry this fellow henry libeg has told john that he can give him a concept of major m okay on set of all libeg measurable subsets okay till now we don't know what are these libeg measurable subsets of r and we don't know what is this m okay actually john wanted to have this concept of m for all subsets of r that is for the power set of r but he also wanted m to satisfy these three properties and henry has told him that he cannot give him a concept of m on this bigger set which satisfy all these properties but he can give him a concept of m on this smaller set okay this is a subset of power set of r what is this set this is a set of all libeg measurable subsets of r and if he uh, uh, he can generalize this concept l to m okay for this particular set of power set of r instead of power set of r so john was happy with this and now he is asking henry to teach him how to generalize this concept of l to m on this particular set of libeg measurable sets and he is also asking henry what are these libeg measurable sets and now henry will teach him what are these things okay so let us see how let us go with henry and john to learn these things okay so here is the picture here is this john he is asking Hen and henry to teach him all this uh, m and libeg measurable sets then henry told him that the path is not very simple so here is henry okay he already know all he already knows all these things and john he doesn't know anything okay so henry is telling him that first of all i will teach you what is m star okay he said but i wanted to learn what is m so henry is saying that this is the only option you have to first learn what is m star and henry is saying i'll call this m star as libeg outer major okay john want to learn about m m is libeg major okay henry will teach him first m star which is libeg outer major okay then he is explaining something about m star to john he says to john that m star is actually defined for the power set of r okay we had this situation we had this set of intervals then set of libeg measurable sets these were intervals these, these were libeg measurable sets and this was power set of r okay so we, m will be defined for this l is defined for this and henry is saying that m star is defined for this power set of r to extended r extended r means we have included in real line this minus infinity and plus infinity okay so john is asking okay is this m star generalize a concept of l henry is saying yes then john is saying but you you told me that you cannot extend the concept to this whole power set then henry is saying yes that was okay because this m star satisfies your first property satisfies your second properties but it it does not satisfy your third property now because you wanted all the three properties to be satisfied that is why i had to restrict it to lms okay so henry is telling john that i'll teach you first of all m star okay then i will use this m star to define what are libeg measurable sets okay and then i'll restrict this m star for now m star is defined for power set of r this is your power set of r okay and then it is a combination of libeg measurable sets and libeg non libeg measurable sets okay so he said that right now this is de defined for all subsets of r if we will restrict this m star only to this libeg measurable sets then it will become m okay this is how he says to john that he will teach him what is m so for teaching for learning what is m what that is libeg major he has to first learn what is libeg outer major and then he has to use this libeg outer major definition of m star to define 
what are the big measurable sets then he has to restrict his m star to set of all the big measurable sets to get m okay so these are the steps which we will follow to go to m okay now this thing should be clear to you that we have this picture we have these intervals these are your intervals okay and we have a concept of length here this is a power set henry will define the concept of uh, outer measure here and using this outer measure we will define these lebesgue measurable sets the definition we don't know till now and then we will restrict m star to lms to get our m okay so this is how we will go so let us today in this video define m star So this is here I will define what is M star. Okay. So basically now John is asking and Henry to teach him M star and Henry is saying that M star we will call it as Lebesgue outer major. So he is telling him what is M star. Now because M star is defined for power set of R it means that it has a definition for every subset A of R. So Henry is saying they take any subset A of R, take any subset A of R, it can be arbitrarily any subset A of R. Then he says that there you have this subset A of R, this is your real line, you have taken any subset A of R, then there always exists a sequence of open bounded intervals, okay, such that A is contained in union of those intervals, okay. How? For example, you can always take these intervals 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, okay, or 1 to uh, 1 to 1.5, 1 to 2, then 1.5 to 2.5 or 3, okay, then 2.5 to 4 and so on. And here also negative also you can take minus 0 0.5 to 1.5. These intervals, if you take a union of all these intervals, they will cover R, okay. For example, you can take this intervals n to n plus 1 okay union it will cover r okay you have to take care of the endpoints right so if some if you can get a cover open bounded cover for r it means that you can get an open bounded cover for every subset a of r okay so it means that whenever you take a set a of r you can take a subset a of r you can always find a sequence of open bounded intervals such that your A is contained in union of those open bounded intervals. Okay. So now take a subset A of R and then find a cover. Okay. Find one cover. Suppose you have found this cover IK1, K from 1 to infinity, where IK1 is open bounded interval. Okay. Now similarly, you can have another cover. Suppose that another cover is IK2, and then you can have another cover IK3, and so on okay so you what you do you take a subset a of r henry is telling john that how to define m star you take a cover a uh, you take a subset a of r and then find all the possible covers of open bounded intervals of a okay so henry uh, john said okay what if i find all these covers okay so next john is telling him that okay suppose this is your subset a of r This is your subset A of R. You have found all possible covers. Okay. Open bounded intervals. Right. Now for the first cover, you have this a sequence of open bounded intervals. And for the intervals, you have the concept of length. So what you do, you add the length of all these intervals. Okay. What you do, you find the sum of the lengths of the intervals involved in the first cover. So you will get a number. This will be a number say N1. Okay, then you do the same thing for the second cover. What you do, you find the sum of the lengths of all the intervals in the second cover. You will again get a number, call it N2. And then you will have a third cover. You call it, you find the sum of the lengths of the intervals of the, all the intervals in this cover, call it N3. And you keep on going. You will get a sequence. Okay, you will get a set of numbers. And you find the infimum of the, that set. It means that out of all these numbers, find the smallest, find the infimum of these numbers and call that infimum as M star of A. Okay. So basically, what is the definition of M star? M star is 
for a set A of for a subset A of R, it is infimum of sum of the lengths of the intervals, okay, where your A is contained in union of those intervals, and these intervals are open and bounded intervals. Okay. Now can you see that this M star somehow generalizes the concept of length? Okay. What you are doing, you are taking A and you are trying to fit A inside a union of intervals and then you are finding the sum of the lengths of those intervals and then you are trying to minimize that quantity, okay? That minimum quantity you are calling as M star of A. So M star somehow generalizes the con concept of L, okay? So basically what we have done, we have the concept of L here and on the set of intervals and we are going to power set of R, okay? We have a concept of M star here, okay? But this does not satisfy the three properties. We will prove that it will satisfy the first two properties, but it does not satisfy the third property. For the next few videos, we will look only at M star. We will look at the, we will study the properties of M star, and then we will go to defining Lipeg measurable sets, and then we will go to defi uh, defining M. So for the next few videos, we will look at the properties of M star. Okay, so in this video, we have defined what is the big outer major. Thank you.